Hey, what's going on guys? Kanigas here and in this video I will be showing you the best YouTube render settings for Sony Vegas Pro 12 and 11 for 720p and 1080. I'm going to be short, concise and straight to the point. All right, so let's open the program. So this works for Sony Vegas Pro 11 as well, if I didn't mention it. Anyways, so you go to import file, you click your video. It could be gameplay, cam footage, doesn't matter, whatever. You put it, you drag it down in the timeline. Now, you, when you have edited your video and you're ready to finally render, you go to File, you go Render As, and it'll show you all the stuff. The one that you want is main concept, AVC, AAC, .mp4, .avc. You click the little arrow, exposing all this stuff. You click Internet HD 720 depending on your raw footage. If your raw footage, camcorder footage or gameplay footage is 720, then, then you click 720. If it's 1080, then 1080. Okay, so mine is 720. After you do that, you click customize template. First, you name it whatever you want. I already named mine and mine is called Kinegas. Here it is right here. So you basically copy everything that it says right here. Every every um every setting that I have, so include a video of course 720. Uh, leave leave this unchecked. Profile make uh, leave it high. Uh, 29.97 allow allow source to adjust frame rate. Non progressive scan. Make sure this is at 1.0000 and number of reference frames two. Constant bit rate. Okay, leave that undotted. Variable bit rate. Leave this unchecked. The two pass. Maximum BPS 10 million. I think the the default one is 32 million or something like that. Switch it to 10 million. The average BPS, change it to 8 million. But I think it's already 8 million by default. But yeah, make sure it's 8 million. Number of slices, put four. Encode mode. Okay, this will depend on your computer. Um, CUDA and OpenCL stands for your graphics card so I don't know w which one uses more graphic card than the other but if you have a graphics card you're gonna wanna use that over the CPU now if all you have is a CPU then go ahead but be warned this is the best settings for YouTube so this could have a negative effect on your computer if it's if it's a low quality computer with like a, oh, you know with like an Intel Core you know just standard CPU this might not be the best settings for you um, but I'm just showing the very best settings right now so the CUDA is for the graphics card you want the graphics card over the CPU the graphics card is a bit faster than a CPU and you want as less load on your CPU as possible so you have to experiment to see which one works for you and to find out if you have a graphics card enabled in your computer if you're not aware of it just go to system check GPU if it says open CL is available then you have a GPU and so I suggest you use it but if but like I said you're gonna have to experiment with these three options to see okay anyways you go to audio you go to sample rate uh, leave it at 48,000 the bit rate leave it at 384,000 and I think that is it right there so remember I am not responsible if your computer gets too overheated because of these settings. Like I said, this is the best YouTube settings. So you use these settings at your own risk. These are the same settings that, that I use in my videos. As you can see, my videos are in very good high quality. So use those settings, guys, for the best possible YouTube visual experience. All right. So hope this hope this helps and Kinegas out.